So in your landscaping business, you can get so overbooked and so overwhelmed that you start falling short on your promises and your communication to your customers. And I think this, this is the nature of the business that we're in. And it's very important to be very mindful and careful of this. I recently lost a, a landscaping customer that was a great customer for several years because of poor communication. Uh, last year at the peak and this will happen at the peak of being booked out. You might be booked out two, three, four months, and all of a sudden you'll have employees just quit on you right in the hottest, heaviest, deepest part of the season when you're, you know, like you're in the thick of it, and then, and then you're left to pick up the pieces. If you have on your personal life, if you have family events planned and birthday parties and very important things that you also have to be to, that means you very quickly can go from being on top of everything to everything being a total chaos. And when that happens, there are these crazy moments. They're like triage, for lack of a better word, because that's a very serious word. But as they, the small business owner, if when everything hits the fan and like employees quit on you and you get overbooked and it won't stop raining and now your promise is on the line to all these customers and you're so overwhelmed you're just having like a breakdown you're skipping meals you're not getting any sleep this all happens right it's called burnout uh, I, we're not there yet but i think that it can happen so you when you when in those moments when you choose to just dive in for like, you know, 60 to 90 days straight and just focus on taking care of all of your clients and just, you're holding your business together by strings. <laughs> you're bare, that, that's when your, your family life starts to fall apart because now you're, you're a piece of crap dad, a piece of crap husband, a piece of crap to everybody else around you because all you care about is work and your business. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, no, in those times, nobody cares that employees quit and a piece of equipment broke down. Nobody cares. They just look at you and go, well, you're a piece of shit. That's why you should have figured out. Yeah, shit. And then, <laughs> and then, and then in those moments, if you choose to make good on all the birthday parties and all the family events, and oh, where's she going to go? Family time. <laughs> it's family time. Because you said you were going to do all this stuff, you got to be there. That's when that those key moments. Okay, it's like, do I look my family member in the eyes right now at little Timmy's birthday party? Hi, little Timmy, little Timmy birthday party. Bzz, bzz, phones ringing off, the, bzz, bzz. and it's Mr. Jones. You were supposed to be there, and now you've rescheduled three times. But you told, you told the family you were going to be at Martha's 84th birthday. And you don't pick up that phone, because if you pick up that phone, everybody's going to turn and look at you and go, piece of shit. <laughs> but if you run and you pick up the phone, hey, Mr. Jones, I know I said I was going to be there, but we're going to be there first thing in the morning. Now you're screwed both ways. So this is what it's like. You're sitting with your family and you got ships and they're all just burning on fire and they're catching on fire and they're just sinking in the water. Everything going to hell in a handbasket and it's all your fault. And it's all your fault, right? But you had a cruise line that they was doing everything. But then they're just jumping off into the water. They're diving. They're not even grabbing the fire extinguisher. They're just doing backstrokes. I'm going to be okay. Right? Okay. Now you're stressed out. Your face is red. People are looking at you like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you just calm down? Just take a, you need a vacation. That's what they say. You need a vacation. If you choose your family, your business falls apart. You break promises to clients. You shouldn't be texting while, what do you mean? You text while you're driving. You should never text while you're driving. You shouldn't even be talking on the phone while you're driving. You should be saying, you should be hiring more people to do all the stuff. Hiring the people who hire the people who hire the people. All those people should be hired by people. Right? What do you mean? You're not perfect. So, I think I've gone too far. This is what I'm saying. You choose your family in those very key pivotal moments. You got time to make all these videos, man. You got no wonder you're sitting here making these videos. Why is your phone number blocked out? You got a business. You don't want anybody to call them.
Anyways, if you choose your family, your business falls apart and you lose clients and there's no excuse. Well, you should never put yourself in that position where you have to choose your business over your family, your family over your... Okay, go run a landscape business for a little while or any business and tell me if it doesn't happen to you. If everybody showed up on time and did everything that they said they were going to do all the time, it would be a perfect world, but it ain't perfect. It 